Hello and welcome back. Now this is a video of two halves. Now recently, uh, quite a few vloggers, we were sent this Nighthawk, uh, Netgear Nighthawk Model 2 to test in our caravans. Um, now, I took this up to the Lake District last week. We were at Pooley Bridge and I tried to use it there and to be honest, the signal wasn't great. So what I've done is I've split the video up and um, I've done a little bit of filming up at our uh, holiday which was last week and I'm going to do a little bit more up at the storage where I know that the signal is a lot better so this is how I got on setting the night talk up and how we used it on our holidays Welcome back this video is all about internet on the go now quite a while ago I was contacted by Dan Trudgeon who told me about a campaign that was coming up in relation to uh, mobile internet when you're around in your caravan now we've been sent a Netgear uh, Nighthawk 2 uh, internet box basically which we're going to have a look at but I'm just going to do a review of how we're going to use it how to set it up in our caravan and how we're going to use it while we're up here on our holidays now why would you need the internet when you're on holiday now I know a lot of people use internet for maybe streaming their television or watching uh, YouTube through their television but we uh, we don't tend to use it for that and we do watch television at the end of the evening but we don't use any internet uh, what we usually use the internet for is uh, at the moment we're up in the Lake District and say like we want to go on the steamers or we want to go for a meal to a pub we use it to search for the uh, the restaurants or the pubs and then we can book in so uh, it becomes quite a handy tool because online you know you can get a lot of discounts so that's why we use the internet or how we use the internet while we're away we also use it for checking emails Angela may have to go on and do some work sometimes so it's handy where we can have a decent connection uh, at the moment we just use our 3g or 4g on our phones which comes off um, our monthly data package now I don't tend to like using that because while we're away I find that we use more data on our phone and when I get back home when I need the data I've, I haven't got any left so I try not to use my own personal you know uh, data as much as I can I also use it as well to upload videos up to YouTube um, so um, you know we do use a bit of it but I, I try not to use our personal one so this is what we've been sent it's a Nighthawk Netgear Mark II so we're going to uh, plug this in or try and set it up and see how we go on let's get it out of the box that's the main um, modem thing put that there I'm very technical you know um, what's in here instruction book and there's a uh, looks like a back plate or something uh, a battery European plug oh, it's one of those uh, Oh yeah, where you slide the um, plug thingy on. See all these technical words, and obviously the cable. So that must charge up via this port here, and that's a USB port, and uh, that's for the uh, Ethernet cable. Uh, there's a space here for the SIM. I presume the battery sits into this compartment here, and that's what that's for. I would imagine to go on there. There's a picture there to show you which way the, the sim goes in. So I'm going to slot that in there. I think that's in. And then uh, we'll put the battery on. I'm going to take this label off. I think you, well, you should be able to see it a little bit clearer. Uh, I'm not going to put the back on yet just in case I have to take the sim out power it on notice I've read the instructions not now with a lot of modern gear like this I know it comes with instructions but the setup in information is usually within the menu I believe this is a touch screen so hopefully this is uh, going to be uh, fairly straightforward you can see that obviously you're not going to be able to see the screen because it is flickering a little bit so it's asking me for my language English customize your Wi-Fi so alright ah, so customizing credentials so we're going to customize that 
first name of your Wi-Fi setup. So we're going to name the Wi-Fi setup. Well, that's quite handy. It's all touch screen. I don't think you can see that. We're going to call it. We'll call it Mart's Wi-Fi. Oops, quite sensitive for those buttons. Mart's Wi-Fi. We'll call it. Done. We'll create a password. Oh, you're not watching this. Well, we've been using the Netgear Nighthawk Model Two for a few days now, and what have we learned about it? Well, setting it up was really easy. Uh, quite straightforward. On-screen display. Uh, the only thing that I found particularly was that there was a QWERTY keyboard on the display and I found it difficult to actually press uh, the, the individual buttons on there. Angela found it a lot easier because her things are uh, quite a bit thinner than mine. Uh, sometimes when you're pressing the home button it doesn't always connect but um, yeah it, it does it does what it does. Um, the battery life in it is okay we've had it in a full charge and it's lasted uh, a good day without being plugged in. What I have found quite handy is the fact that you can uh, download an app, a Netgear app, and you can change the settings on there, you can change the passwords on there, so it's completely encrypted, nobody else can, you know, the security protected, nobody else can get onto your, your particular device. You can connect up to 20 other different devices, which is quite good. While we've been using it here, the signal has been very poor. Uh, we've been able to check emails. Occasionally we can watch videos. Uh, we have an Amazon Alexa with us, which we use to listen to music because uh, we don't have a DAB radio in the caravan, and that's been hit and miss. Um, so again, it is you know, depending on the signal. What I would like to do and what I'm going to do is um, when we get home I'm going to have the caravan up at the storage where we've got a, I know we've got a decent 4G signal so we're going to try it there again so up here in the Lake District would this device be any use to us yes it has been a little bit of uh, use to us we have been using it we can search on the internet we can stream videos a little bit but like I said the signal is not great so let's by the power of magic we're going to switch to the storage yard and we will try it there where i know we've got 4g so off we go so we're back at the storage again so we've turned the night arc on and the first thing i noticed is in the display i don't think you're going to be able to see this but at the top here um it changed it changed to 4g it had a h last week and now it's gone to 4g and there's quite a few bars in terms of the difference in the signal so i ran a test on um uh, a speed test while we're up in the lake district and i'm going to compare that now to the speed that we're getting up at the storage So the difference that we're getting up here with this uh, box at the storage with a good signal is absolutely, you know, it's a lot better. So the key is to have a really good signal and this will work absolutely fantastic. So it's a, a really good device and it's something that we will be using again. As for the cost, I've no doubt you've seen, uh, it's £389 to buy this. Um, can I really justify that? Um, it is quite expensive. There are other alternatives out there. So that's the Netgear uh, Nighthawk Model 2, uh, something we're definitely going to be using in the future. It's a really good piece of kit and uh, yeah, it uh, works really well if you've got a good signal. So thanks for watching and I will see you soon. Bye bye.